the day we're taking a look at these NHL matches, which are happening on Friday, October 7, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe and push that notification bell to get notified, as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, by becoming a member of the High Stakes Patreon, you will have access to our best team picks, total picks, parlay picks and much more. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting predictions that ends up costing you a lot of time and money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you two betting picks for each game, a team pick and a total pick based on facts and detailed explanation. So make sure to watch our videos till the end, so you don't miss any of our picks. San Jose Sharks vs Nashville Predators The Sharks were one of the NHL's worst teams last year and are hoping to improve, particularly on the offensive end of the ice, as they scored only 2.57 goals per game. While Logan Couture, Tomas Hurtel, and Timo Meyer all returned to the top two lines after combining for 88 goals and 108 assists, the rest of the offense was awful last year. The hope is that free agency signings Nyko Sturm and Evgeny Svechnikov can add to the middle of the forward unit, while former Predators forward Luke Kunin also can step up for the offense. The Predators have a strong 2021-22 season, but were easily swept by the Colorado Avalanche in the first round of the playoffs and hope that the improved roster can take a big leap forward. The offense was the strength last year, scoring 3.20 goals per game, with Philip Forsberg, Tanner Genet, and Matt Duchesne leading the top two lines with 109 goals and 102 assists combined, while defenseman Roman Josie added 23 goals and 73 assists from the blue line. The offense looks to only improve from last year, as the front office not only re-signed Forsberg, who was a free agent, but they also signed Zach Sanford and Nino Nadereiter to add depth to the forward group. The Sharks are looking to make a statement in the opening game of the year and can easily pull off the upset and provide great odds in the process. The problem is that the Predators enter this game as the better team from last season that only improved over the offseason and they look to overwhelm the Sharks on both ends of the ice. The Predators look to constantly find the back of the net with Philip Forsberg, Matt Duchesne, and the rest of the forward unit, carrying the puck into the offensive zone and creating open shots with strong movement to the net, allowing Roman Josie to find open ice from the blue line to generate shots on the net as well. The Predators also limit the Sharks' top heavy offense with Roman Josie, Alexander Carrier, and offsis in addition Ryan McDonough, stepping up in the defensive zone and forcing turnovers while forcing difficult shots on the net, allowing Juus Arrows to make plenty of easy saves throughout the game. The Predators should win the game and cover the spread in a dominant win to start the season. Our team pick is Predators minus 1.5 goals. San Jose's offense was a major problem last year, and they did not really improve in the offseason. They remain with a lack of firepower, and no player is a major threat offensively. Kapo Kakinen and James Reimer will share duties between the pipes. Without much improvement to the roster, the Sharks will struggle once again this season. The offense was not good for the Sharks last season. San Jose ranked 30th in goals per game and 26th in shots per game. Timo Meyer led the team with 76 points. Meyer will once again be on the top line for the Sharks, and he is their best defensive player, 